raw sugar arrives at the refinery ready to begin its transformation. This is where the magic happens, where the journey from the fields culminates in a process of refinement and purity. The refinery stands tall, a beacon of industry, ready to take on the raw, unpolished crystals and turn them into something extraordinary. It's come a long way from the sugarcane fields. From the moment the cane was harvested, it has been on a journey of transformation. The fields, lush and green, are where it all begins. The cane is cut, collected and transported, each step bringing it closer to its final form. Think of it as a diamond in the rough. These raw sugar crystals, though coarse and unrefined, hold within them the promise of sweetness. They may not look like much now, but with the right process, they will shine. We're about to polish it into something truly special. The refining process is intricate and precise, designed to extract the purest form of sugar from these raw crystals. It's a transformation that requires both skill and patience. The raw sugar is unloaded from trucks or trains. Each delivery is a step closer to the final product. The logistics of moving such large quantities of sugar are impressive, a testament to the efficiency of the industry. It's then stored in large silos, awaiting its turn in the refining process. These silos are massive, capable of holding tons of sugar, each grain waiting for its moment to shine. The air inside the refinery is thick with the scent of molasses. It's a heady aroma, a mix of sweetness and earthiness that permeates every corner of the facility. This scent is a constant reminder of the raw material's origins. It's a sweet reminder of the journey the sugar has already taken. From the fields to the refinery, each step has been a part of a larger story, a narrative of transformation and refinement. The raw sugar may not look appetizing yet, its coarse brown appearance is deceiving, hiding the true potential within. It's a diamond in the rough, waiting for the right touch to reveal its brilliance. Don't let that fool you, beneath that rough exterior lies the potential for something truly sweet and pure. It's all about unlocking that hidden potential. Hidden within its brown coarse crystals, is the potential for pure sweetness. The refining process is all about bringing that sweetness to the forefront, making it accessible and enjoyable. Our job is to unlock that potential step by meticulous step. Let's get refining. Each stage of the process is crucial, from washing and filtering to crystallizing and drying. It's a journey of transformation, turning raw sugar into the pure white crystals we all know and love. Uh, the first step in our refining journey is mixing the raw sugar with a special syrup. This process is crucial as it sets the stage for everything that follows. Imagine the raw sugar crystals, fresh from the fields, being introduced to a rich, thick syrup. This isn't just any syrup, it's a carefully prepared solution that plays a vital role in the refining process. We call it raw wash. This term might sound simple, but it carries a lot of weight in the sugar refining industry. The raw wash is a blend that helps to initiate the transformation of raw sugar into the refined product we all know and love. This isn't your average syrup though. It's a specially formulated solution designed to interact perfectly with the raw sugar crystals. The syrup is thick, rich and full of concentrated sugar from previous batches, making it an ideal medium for the initial mixing process. It's actually a concentrated sugar solution from a previous batch. This recycling of sugar solutions not only makes the process more efficient, but also ensures that no part of the sugar goes to waste. It's a beautiful cycle of reuse and refinement. Think of it as giving the raw sugar a warm welcome and a sweet embrace. The syrup envelops the sugar crystals, starting the process of breaking down impurities and preparing them for further refinement. This mixing process isn't just about being friendly though, it's a critical step that ensures the raw sugar is evenly coated with the syrup, allowing for a more thorough and efficient purification process later on. It serves a very important purpose. By mixing the raw sugar with the syrup, we begin to dissolve the molasses that clings to the sugar crystals. This is an essential step in ensuring that the final product is as pure and sweet as possible. The raw wash helps to dissolve the molasses still clinging to the raw sugar crystals. This process is akin to giving the sugar a deep cleanse, removing the unwanted molasses and preparing the crystals for the next stage of refinement. This makes it easier to remove impurities in the next step. By starting with a cleaner product, the subsequent stages of refining are more efficient and effective, leading to a higher quality final product. We're all about efficiency in the sugar refining world. Every step from the raw wash to the final crystallization 
is designed to maximize purity and minimize waste. This meticulous process ensures that the sugar you enjoy is of the highest quality every single time. Now it's time to introduce our friend, the centrifuge. Picture a giant washing machine on overdrive, that's what we're dealing with here. The raw sugar and raw wash mixture is poured into the centrifuge's rapidly spinning basket. The centrifugal force acts like an invisible hand. It pushes the liquid portion outward, separating it from the sugar crystals. This liquid, known as molasses, is rich in flavor and used in other food products. Don't worry, we don't let anything go to waste. What we're left with in the centrifuge are slightly cleaner sugar crystals. They're ready for their next spa treatment. This is where the real magic happens. Our goal is to remove any remaining impurities and undesirable color from the sugar crystals. To do this, we use a three-step process affination, decolorization and phosphatation. Big words, but simple concepts. Affination removes any remaining molasses. Decolorization uses activated carbon, much like your water filter at home, to remove color. Finally, phosphatation removes any remaining impurities with a little help from phosphoric acid and lime. Think of it as giving the sugar crystals a deep cleanse and a brightening facial all in one go. Section 5. Charcoal's Cleansing Touch Carbon Filtration We've already used carbon to remove color, but we're not done with this powerful purifier just yet. In this step, the sugar solution, now called Melter Liquor, is passed through a bed of granular activated carbon. This isn't your average charcoal, folks. This specialized carbon is incredibly porous, like a microscopic sponge. As the melter liquor flows through, the carbon traps any remaining impurities. This includes any leftover color molecules and other unwanted compounds. It's like sending the sugar solution through a super fine filter, ensuring it's as pure as can be. Section 6, the evaporation equation concentrating sweetness. Remember all that liquid we added earlier? It's time to bid it farewell. We use a device called a triple effect evaporator to remove excess water from the sugar solution. It sounds complicated, but it's based on a simple principle, boiling. The evaporator heats the sugar solution in stages, each stage at a lower pressure. This allows the water to evaporate at lower temperatures, saving energy and preserving the sugar's delicate flavor. As the water evaporates, the sugar solution becomes more and more concentrated. We're getting closer to those sparkling white crystals. Section 7. The Birth of Crystals, a Vacuum-Sealed Ballet. Now for the main event, crystal growth. The concentrated sugar solution, now incredibly thick and syrupy, is carefully transferred to massive vacuum pans. These pans are carefully controlled environments sealed tight to create a vacuum. Why the vacuum? It lowers the boiling point of the syrup, preventing the sugar from caramelizing and turning brown. As the syrup cools, tiny seed crystals are added. These seeds act as starting points for the sugar molecules to latch onto, gradually growing into larger, sparkling crystals. It's a delicate dance of temperature, pressure, and time. A section eight, sparkling clarity, the final centrifuge. Our sugar crystals are almost ready for their close-up. But first, we need to separate them from any remaining syrup. It's time to call upon our trusty centrifuge once again. The mixture of crystals and syrup is spun at high speed. The centrifugal force flings the syrup outward, leaving behind a mountain of glistening white sugar crystals. These crystals are then washed and rinsed to remove any last traces of impurities. Finally, the sugar's color is carefully measured to make sure it meets the highest standards of purity and whiteness. Section 9, from silo to shelf, drying, conditioning and packaging. Our journey from raw to refined is nearly complete. The sugar crystals have undergone a meticulous process to reach this stage, transforming from raw cane or beet into the sparkling crystals we recognize. Each step has been carefully designed to ensure the highest quality product. The sugar crystals are gently dried to remove any remaining moisture. This drying process is crucial as it prevents clumping and ensures the sugar remains free-flowing. Specialized equipment is used to control the temperature and airflow, making sure the crystals are dried evenly and efficiently. They are then transferred to large silos for conditioning. These silos are designed to maintain a stable environment, allowing the sugar crystals to rest and stabilize. 
This step is essential for achieving the perfect texture and consistency. This allows the crystals to stabilize and reach the optimal moisture level for storage. The conditioning process can take several days during which the sugar is carefully monitored to ensure it meets the required standards. Finally, the sparkling white sugar is packaged into various sizes and formats that you know and love. Packaging is done in a sterile environment to maintain the purity and quality of the sugar. Whether it's small packets for your coffee or large bags for baking, each package is filled with care. From the familiar granulated sugar in your pantry to the fine powdered sugar used for dusting delicate pastries, it's all here. Each type of sugar has its own unique properties and uses, making it a versatile ingredient in both home kitchens and professional bakeries. And with that, our journey comes to a sweet end. The next time you reach for a spoonful of sugar, you'll know the incredible journey it has taken from the fields to your table. Thank you for joining us on this sweet adventure.